Hello, we're Moto Lenovo here at Mobile World Congress talking about our Moto Mods development kit. This is the way for you to build your own Moto Mod quickly and easily and bring it to market. I like to call this the mother of all Moto Mods. Absolutely all of the products that we built are based on this exact same development kit. So you get the same tools that we use. For $129, you get the reference Moto Mod that has the microcontroller, the Moto Mods connector on the back with all the magnets to connect, the high speed bridge if you're doing an application that uses cameras or displays, and then simple debug ports. So you don't need expensive JTAG, simply a Type C cable, Linux computer or virtual machine, and all open source tools. So what you can do is with all the infrastructure in here, it allows you to focus on just what your idea is, solder it down to this board, snap it in, write some firmware, and now you've got a prototype. It also contains a cover. So you can snap that on to protect your project, and you're not stuck on your lab bench anymore. But now you can go out into the real world and use your Moto Mod and refine your concept that way. So you'll see a potential flow here here we've taken the, the perforated board, fly-wired a battery and a charging circuit to it, and that was our first step. If you want to do some dog fooding with a slightly wider audience, 20 or 30 people, you may go to the step of making a surface mount board, less chance of knocking wires off, a little more sturdy, and then you can further refine with external people. All these you can do without contacting Motorola at all, all of our documentation is at developer.motorola.com. All of the firmware, open source, hosted at GitHub. So you can simply download that and start from there. And we have plenty of examples as well. So we actually have personality cards, sensors and battery that are really common applications, and an audio and a display personality card, which are some more complex ones. Each of these has a whole page dedicated to them. The electrical schematics are open source as are the firmware and the Android application to interact with them.